I have no idea why Tyler wants to open up these fucking seven seals and unleash the gates of hell onto his channel. That is the all right. But you know what? I do have a question. And it's a question that's been burning in me for a long time. So fuck it. Doesn't it annoy you that you've had to accept that you are a joke in order for you to gain any kind of traction? You had to accept people treating you like a joke, take ownership of that joke, and then claim ironic support and people taking the piss out of you and your movement as being part of said quote unquote movement in order to be heard. I mean, call me crazy, but I don't think a political movement of any worth would have to rely on the campaign strategy of embrace the meme. What does being alt-right mean to you? What are your goals and what do you want to achieve? Is there a line? Is there a line or should there be a line? Should there be a line by which the idea, the effort to try and, and get underneath people's skin, to, to shake up the establishment, to uh, uproot people from their comfort zones, which the alt-right likes to do quite a bit, is there a line where that's, it gets to be too much? Or should there be a line? Because I truly believe in free speech, and I believe in as unfettered as you could possibly make free speech. But is there a line? Should there be a line? and who really gets to dictate what that is. How come anyone that has a slight liberal view on something or someone that isn't on the conservative level that you want them to be considered a cuck? So you feel that races should stick to their own kind, whites in America, blacks in Africa, Asians in Asia. Okay, but how do you feel about white people from countries like Poland, Slovakia, Romania, Czech Republic? I mean, would you be okay with those people coming into your country? Because I know a lot of people who aren't. So is it to do with race or culture because the majority of black people, Asian people and other ethnic groups have adopted western values and assimilated perfectly? So why do you have a problem with them? If race mixing is so bad, then how is encouraging a lack of genetic diversity in humanity any better. Speaking of memes, why is it that you think you can use memes to diffuse and ignore criticism? But all that 1488 gas of Jones couldn't do, do nothing, he was a good boy. That's all great fun and everything, but I don't see what you get out of it if five minutes later you're gonna turn around and say, Yeah, but real talk, you know the Holocaust never happened, right? Like, why would you pretend? to be ironic when joking about the Jews in one forum and then get pissed off that your favourite e-celeb won't name the Jew in another forum. If you're as brave and alpha and all the rest of that bullshit that you seem to buy into, wouldn't you have a problem with all these people treating this shit that you claim to care about as a joke? Wouldn't you decry people treating your beliefs and worldview as a joke? Are you aware that Pepe died out a year ago? Come on alt-right, you need to pick up your meme game. What's the rarest Pepe of them all? No, but seriously, what's the bigger threat to the Hillary campaign? The frog in her throat? <coughs> or the frog in her mentions? I would consider myself anti-SJW, one main reason being that the majority of social justice warriors have a very authoritarian viewpoint. Do you hate SJWs simply because they're left-wing and nothing more? Because you seem to act in similar fashion, only with a different viewpoint and nowhere near the influence. While I know not everybody prescribes to the most extreme examples, do you ever stop to consider that when you decide to take on an ideological label like that, you are kind of putting yourself in the same position as those who might be your intellectual opponents? For instance, if you have a feminist who says, hashtag kill all white men, you know, and then you look at that and it can paint feminists unfavorably because of the association of ideology. Now because of that, do you ever think or consider that possibly you might be harming your ability to put forth a coherent argument by identifying with the same people who might say, I don't know, spread a bunch of Nazi propaganda or maybe try and make some racist claim because they don't understand how genetics works that some races are biologically inferior. To everyone else who is ironically taking the piss out of these people, you keep doing you, and you're doing you very well, I have to say. Some of this shit is fucking hilarious. But I'd ask if you could at least maybe up your game a little bit. Like, either make it obvious that you're joking and taking the piss, or start dragging these fuckers into deeper and deeper water. Because it's getting kinda stale and boring for everyone who doesn't say cuck 17 trillion times a fucking day. 
And let's be real, if you're a boring troll, you're a shit troll. I'm just saying. Time to elevate it or let it die. Uh, you still have Harambe. We, we will always have Harambe. No matter what Jank fucking Yuga says. Or his dead may never die, motherfucker.